Hello again everyone on Facebook. Um, I wanted to make a brief video uh, addressing uh, a few of the questions that people had brought up regarding Mevo Multicam, some of its capabilities, um, are you able to achieve uh, various angles with Mevo Multicam utilizing uh, cell phones and other devices. Um, so I'm going to talk about that in this video. Um, so let's just get right into it. Uh, Mevo Multicam is great, the app, the app is great because it does have a lot of flexibility. Um, you don't have to purchase a Mevo Start camera or a Mevo Core uh, camera. Uh, if maybe you're just starting out and you kind of want to just get your toes wet and, and start figuring out how to do all this stuff, right? Uh, what you can actually use is uh, your cell phone even. Um, and that's going to be through the Mevo Go app. Um, so let me just take you through the steps here. Um, basically what you're going to want is you're going to want to have a control device. In my case, I'm using an iPad here. I have the Mevo Multicam app downloaded on my uh, iPad here. So in the case that you, if you're wanting to use a cell phone to uh, stream your kids' games or even multiple cell phones to do so, um, you would just uh, go to your cell phone. You would uh, download the uh, the Mevo Go app, which I'll show you here. The little icon uh, looks like that. It says Mevo Go. You're going to click on that. All right, it's going to tell you how to uh, show you this prompt here. Select what type of signal you want to send to Multicam. You're going to go to video and audio, and you're going to continue. All right. So, um, you're going to have to continue here, and you're going to have to go. Well, it already popped up for me here, and you'll see it actually on the the corner here. Um, let me get a flashlight here so you can kind of see. I'm sorry, I'm in a dark dark area, so. It's hard to tell, but um, so here my camera is uh, my iPhone camera is now in the Mevo uh, Multicam app. Um, mine had already been set up before, so easy. What you would do is you would click on this uh, this icon here on the bottom, this little blue icon. It's a little plus sign. Click on that. You're gonna scroll down to where it says Mevo Go. So in the, it says Mevo Go here. One input found. You click on that. And here it already it's already showing the iPhone that I have, um, so it's, sh it's showing me the disconnect because it's already connected. But basically, yeah. So here you're seeing on my iPad you're seeing the Mevo uh, Start, which I'm using right now to record this video, and then you're also able to see my cell phone. So uh, if you had multiple cameras or multiple uh, cell phones, the other ones would pop up here, and they would it would be like, let's say you had three, you would have one, two, three. Um, so let's say you had this camera here as your uh, behind home plate camera and let's say someone hits the ball and you had this one set up on your first baseline which is typically how I do it you would just click there and it would switch to that angle um, and if you always see if you had a different uh, another one obviously if you had another one you would uh, have it pop up here and then you would select that as well um, so again this is a real brief video uh, um, talking about the uh, the Mevo multicam uh, platform it's great um, the only thing to know about it is that the devices that you're going to be using to live stream all need to be on the same network uh, what does that mean well uh, you may try to to uh, to uh, stream your children's games your kids games with uh, just using a, a, a typical hotspot um, and that that might work for one camera but in the case of this since the cameras are going to be a little bit spread out and it's going to be more data um, because you have multiple angles you're going to want to invest in a travel router so I'm going to show you mine this is my uh, travel router this is the Slate AXT1800 uh, portable travel router um, it works great for what it is and my travel router is tethered to my Insego M2000 uh, MiFi hotspot so it has a, a standard uh, type C cable to USB and, and it's tethered to there and then to power it, it's to power the uh, the router it's just a standard uh, power bank really any power bank will do um, in my case I'm using a, a type C to USB to power it so I have a, a little fence tray that I have that attaches to the fence I put my travel router on there I put my hotspot on there and I put my power bank on there and the power bank will run the uh, the, the travel router mo like all day pretty much like six to eight hours um, and it'll also be charging my hotspot at the same time so that one power bank will, will cover a lot of 
uh, cover both the router and the uh, router and the hotspot. So, um, so yeah, I just wanted to kind of sh uh, show this video because, like I said, Mevo Multicam is great because it does offer uh, uh, some flexibility there. You don't necessarily have to go out and purchase, uh, you know, three Mevo Start cameras and a core and uh, spend all this money. You can, if you just have any cell phones lying around in your house, you're able to uh, achieve all the angles as well just using those cell phone cell phones that you have lying around but uh anyways i hope uh, this answered any questions if anyone is uh curious about anything else or if you, if you got more questions watching this video uh feel free to uh message me or comment here and, uh, and i can help you out all right well uh thanks for watching and night